NCAA Board of Dur uh, Governors will meet today to discuss and potentially vote if transgender athletes will be included in women's sports. The meeting comes as over 3,000 current and former athletes wrote a letter to the NCAA calling on them to protect women's sports. Paula Scanlon and Adriana <sighs> McLam are former NCAA athletes. They signed on to this letter and they both join me now. Paula, good morning to you, uh, Adriana as well, but to you first, Paula, what do you think about this meeting that's going to be happening later today? Do you think that the NCAA is going to make a decision here when it comes to transgender women and women's sports? And if so, what is your message to the NCAA ahead of this meeting? Yeah. I, my message to them is obviously they should do the right thing and say males do not belong in women's sports. Obviously, the NAIA, a smaller sort of NCAA competitor, made the decision to ban males from, from women's sports. And I, I think the NCAA has to follow suit. And if they don't, it's going to be very challenging for them. They're definitely going to hear from us. They're going to hear from a lot of other athletes that object to competing against males. Um, but I'm very, very interested to see what they end up doing with that. Obviously, if they don't end up making this decision, it's going to look so much worse on them. It, the right thing to do is to say no to having males competing. Um, but again, I can't control them. They've had so much time to fix this issue. Again, the NCAA championship where Leah Thomas, a male, won the, uh, an NCAA championship was two years ago. They've had two years now to fix this, and they've done nothing. Adriana, what is your message to the NCAA? Yeah, the big thing is um, it's to provide female athletes the opportunities that athletes like myself and Paula were provided. And by doing, by letting biological males compete in women's sports, they're taking away scholarship opportunities, roster spots, starting positions away from many athletes. And we want them to step up, just like Paula said, like the NAIA did, and protect the athletes that they represent. And uh, I will also say that number uh, 3,000 is now at 6,000 and climbing. I got the report this morning. Oh, wow. More than double yeah. what we learned about last night. So there is, uh, yeah, there's obviously a huge momentum on your side of the argument. Uh, on the other side of it, uh, there is a group called Athlete Ally, Paula, and they also wrote to the NCAA. Uh, they define themselves as a queer sports advocacy group. Um, athlete like Megan Rapino and Sue Bird signed on to this letter, and they say to deny transgender athletes the fundamental right to be who they are, to access the sport they love, and to receive the proven mental and physical health benefits of sport goes against the very principles of the NCAA Constitution. We call on you to be on the right side of history and affirm that sport is truly for us all. Uh, so, what is your reaction? What is your reaction to that? The other side of the argument. I mean, again, I've been hearing it for years now. Uh, it's so funny, actually, that that quote, the right side of history, that is the exact thing the University of Pennsylvania told myself and my teammates before we spoke out against, anyone spoke out against this. They said, you will be on the wrong side of history. So it's so interesting that they, they're not even creative enough to have unique language. Mm. Every single organization that's for this opposite side just says the exact same thing. I think no one is denying anyone the right to be themselves. That's an argument the other side says a lot. Everyone has a place in sports. It just needs to be done in fair sex-based categories. And again, people who argue against this, these women, these female athletes, Sue Bird, Megan Rapino, they would not be the athletes that they were if they had to compete alongside males. And to shut the door on female athletes that follow them is frankly just incredibly selfish of them. Well, we will see what takes place after this meeting today. Paula, Adriana, it could be a big day or nothing could happen at all. We'll have to wait and see. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.